everyone. So I forgot I received a package. So why don't we do a little unboxing? And by the way, hello, my name is Angela. Welcome to Handmade with Angela. I will be your host. So let's get this open and try not to cut ourselves. Alright, so this is my fragrance oil order from Windy Point Soaps in Canada. Let's get all the packaging out here. So I have some, some lids for my four ounce jar, so nothing exciting there. I do really like how they use this paper or cardboard and I'm going to save that because we try to reuse all of our packaging here to be as eco-friendly as possible even if it's plastic bubble wrap. If it comes into the house we want to reuse it. Alright so I ordered some smaller bottles of, of fragrance oils because there are four small batches of soap for my Sabbath line of soaps. So let's get into this. God, it's so hard to get into the packages. While I appreciate the secure wrapping, it's very difficult to get into. Okay, so this first one is actually an essential oil. Litsea Kubeba. It is a citrusy smelling oil and it makes a great middle note for your citrus essential oils in soaps. And I, I assume you can see that. It's hard to tell from this angle. And I just bought a little bottle because I don't use, I don't make tons of citrus soaps, but when I do, I just want a little bit just to anchor my scent. All right, next. And you can see they're all really well packaged. They come packaged in bubble wrap and wrapped in a plastic bag. And then they also have tape on the top. This one is pineapple sage. And I can't wait to smell it. I'm sure it smells amazing. Let's just open it up here and find out. So let's see. That does smell delicious. You can definitely smell the pineapple. You can definitely smell the sage. It's quite light, but I like that. All right. Now we're getting into packages of three. Let's see here, is this gonna be easier? Yeah, this is gonna be easier to open. So let's just open up the bubble wrap and then we'll open up the oils and try not to cut myself. Sorry, I don't know if I'm off frame or not, but this is kind of a pain in the ass to unwrap. Turn these puppies back up. Okay, we did it. Now let's see what we've got. Oh god, there's more tape. Alright, I'm not going to smell every single one of these on camera. So next we have just a plain vanilla. That is going to be for my Salt Spring Sud Soap. This is my beer soap. And I will not remember what every single fragrance oil is for, so bear with me. And we have Blackberry Sage, which I am assured smells delicious and is a best seller for, seller for people, so let's hope it's a best seller for me too. The next one we have is Rose Petals and Sandalwood, and that is going to be for one of my Sabbath soaps. I don't remember offhand which one. Might be Ostera. I'll have to take a look. And next, oh, more tape. Oh, 
for the bag open that works. So we have lavender and vetiver, which I'm sure smells amazing because I really, really love the smell of vetiver. Next up, this one's a classic favorite, black raspberry vanilla. I'm sure most of you, if you make soap, you know what that smells like. I have a balsam cedar because I just wanted something that was very woodsy. And our last three. Let's just tear into it here. We have amber and oak moss, which sounds like it would smell delicious. And we have Viva Le Juicy. I bought this one 100% because this is my perfume. This is the perfume that I wear and I've been wearing it for years. So I wanted to make a soap with it. And we're gonna actually smell this one on camera because I am really curious to see what it smells like. <sighs> it does smell good. Definitely reminds me of my perfume, so I can't wait to use that. I don't know what soap I'm going to make with that yet. That's the only one that I haven't planned. And then the last one is Sandalwood Extra. Because sandalwood is so expensive, I bought a fragrance oil. So that is it. Those are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different fragrance, well, 10 fragrance oils and one essential oil that I bought and hopefully this is the last time I will be shopping for supplies for my soap business until May because I have lots and lots of stuff that I have in stock just sitting waiting for me to make soap and I'm, honestly I'm getting tired of spending money so thanks for watching I am gonna go and make some milk bath bubble scoops and I will also be recording that so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye!